Hello, and welcome back to the Software Ideas Modeler channel. Today, I'll guide you through the process of creating a UML deployment diagram using Software Ideas Modeler. Let's get started. First, we need to create a new diagram. Navigate to the Project tab in the ribbon and click on the Add New Diagram button. In the New Diagram dialog, select the category containing UML diagrams and choose the Deployment Diagram item. Enter a name for your new diagram in the Name text box. Let's name it Web Application. Click on the OK button. We'll start by creating a web server node. Select the Node tool from the toolbox and draw a large rectangle in the Diagram Editor. Label it Web Server. The node element represents a device or environment where components and artifacts will be deployed. Next, create another node of the same size. The quickest way to do this is to copy the existing node. Drag the web server node with the right mouse button pressed and move it to the right of the first node. The new node will automatically align vertically with the first one. You'll notice it snaps to a dashed line when aligned. Rename this node to database server. Now let's add an artifact to the web server node. Select the artifact tool from the toolbox and draw it within the web server node. Name it webapp.war. Next, create a component. Drag the component tool from the toolbox and drop it inside the web server node below the artifact element. Name this component web application. To adjust the visual appearance by making the artifact and the component the same size, drag the artifact element using the right mouse button onto the web application component and select make same, make same size. Then, Choose the Manifest tool from the toolbox and draw a line from the artifact to the component. The manifest relationship shows that the component is embodied in the artifact. Since the database server node will have a similar structure to the web server node, we can copy the elements. Select the artifact and component from the web server node, press Ctrl C, then click on the database server node and press Ctrl V. Choose Paste as copy. Adjust the positions of the pasted elements and rename them. Name the artifact database schema.sql and the component database. The web application component is dependent on the database component. To show this, select the dependency tool from the toolbox and draw a line from the web application component to the database component. Our diagram is now complete. Optionally, you can choose an alternative visual representation for the artifacts. If you prefer a folded paper shape instead of a simple rectangle, select the artifacts, right-click on one of them, choose Presentation Style, and then select Stereotype from the context menu. And that's it. You've successfully created a UML deployment diagram in Software Ideas Modeler. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Happy modeling!